Motorola makes all the right upgrades in this 2024 edition of its foldable clip phone, including longer battery life, better cameras, and new external screen functionality. You also get double the brightness on the main display, but some AI features aren't coming until later. The upcoming Galaxy Z Flip 6 faces a tough competitor. I was enamored by last year's Motorola Razor Plus 2023 mainly because it did the unthinkable by dethroning Samsung's flip phone and earning the status of the best foldable phone around. With the Razor Plus 2024, Motorola takes everything I loved about last year's model and makes it better with all the right the iterative improvements to make this phone a solid contender if you are looking for a great foldable flip phone. Can you believe it's been 20 years since the original Razer release? While the Razer Plus 2024 pays homage to the iconic flip phone, the new release enjoys a prime opportunity to get a head start to win over consumers before the competition comes around. Samsung's new Galaxy Z Flip 6 is knocking at the door, so it's imperative for Moto to make an impression now. This year's Razer Plus is a worthy upgrade on paper that packs a larger external screen, bigger battery, faster processor, and a new telephoto camera to get you closer than ever before. However, keep in mind that several key AI features are coming later. In my Motorola Razor Plus 2024 review, I'll tell you how much of a bigger upgrade it is over its predecessor and whether or not this new Razor has enough substance to convince you to choose this $999 US dollar device over other traditional slates. And for viewers outside the US, be aware that the Motorola Razor Plus 2024 is known as the Motorola Razor 50 Ultra in the UK. UK and Australia. I have been asking for telephoto cameras in more flip phones and while the Razer Plus 2024 makes this a reality, it requires a compromise. On one hand, I am stoked that the main camera has been upgraded to a beefier 50 megapixel sensor, but Motorola ditches the ultra wide camera in favor of a 50 megapixel telephoto camera with 2x optical zoom. So, what's the big deal? Well, I really found the ultra wide camera of last year's Razer Plus handy for blogging and self recording because of its wider field of view and its omission to noticeable because the main camera's field of view is narrow. As a result, only my upper torso is visible when I'm blogging, and it's nowhere as good when it comes to getting another person in the shot with me. I think omitting the ultra-wide camera is a missed opportunity because the Razer Plus 2024 would have made for a more compelling arrangement if Moto kept it and leveraged pixel binding with the main camera to deliver a 2x optical quality zoom. In theory, it would deliver the same package as the triple camera system we get in many flagship phones. Despite that, the camera app gets its share of changes as well including a new camcorder that can shoot vertical or horizontal videos while in this mode. Another change pertains to Photobooth which now works on both the internal and external cameras. Here are some camera samples of Motorola Razor Plus 2024. Even though I wish the phone was launching with its suit of Moto AI features, I still think that the Motorola Razor Plus 2024 is in a good position because of all the iterative improvements found throughout. It maintains the same stylish looks that has made the Razer one of the most attractive foldable phones around, while adding a bigger outer screen, much longer battery life, faster charging and camera performance improvements. What I like even more is the fact that the Razer Plus price remains unchanged at $999 US dollar, which should give Samsung and everyone else something to worry about. The only disappointment I have is Motorola choosing to ditch the ultra wide camera in favor of a dedicated telephoto lens, more so when the main camera's full resolution snapshots rival the quality of the optical zoom lens. Apart from that, the Razer Plus 2024 is a delightful flip for level that's worth a look without much compromise in its package.